Hi, I'm Paul Begley. Lebanon's government has just collapsed. Why? Because they allowed terrorists to have a seat at the table. They allowed Hezbollah. And Hezbollah hates Israel so much. They've sworn a pact to destroy Israel so much that they brought destruction upon the country of Lebanon. The Bible says, Psalms 83, Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a turmoil. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And they've consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, let us cut off from being a nation the name of Israel, that it may be no more remembered. For they have consulted together with one consent, and they are confederate against thee. That's Lebanon. That's Hezbollah. That's Hamas. That's the Taliban. That's Al-Qaeda. That's Al-Shabaab. And countless other terrorist groups who think that they can destroy Israel. You can't destroy Israel. Israel was named Israel by God, Jehovah. I like the last verse. Verse 17 says, well, matter of fact, <laughs> let's finish the chapter by reading right here what David says in verse 15. So persecute them with thy tempest, God. Make them afraid with thy storm. Fill their faces with shame that they may seek thy name, O Lord. Let them be confounded and trouble forever. Yea, let them be put to shame and perish that men may know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, art the Most High over all the earth. Don't worry about Lebanon attacking uh, Israel. Lebanon can't hold their own country together because they allow terrorists to have a seat at the table. They tried to, and the, these terrorists, these haters of Israel, these haters from hell, these Muslim militant the ministers of Mecca, they hate Israel so much that they said they would take it away. And Iran, let this be a warning to you. Syria, be very careful. Egypt, watch your step. Saudi Arabia, silence. But Ak, Madulajad and Iran, seven times, seven times on videotape, you are recorded saying that you would like to blow Jerusalem off the face of the map. Saying that you annihilate them and eliminate them. Look what's happening. Look what the Bible says will happen to you. The best thing you could do, Ahmadulajad, is repent. Fall on your knees. Cry out to God, Jehovah. You, you're, you think you could blow up Israel and that's going to bring the 12th Imam, the Mahadi. You think that this is your divine calling. I'm here to tell you, you've been lied to by the spirit of darkness. The false prophet, Muhammad, has spoken and is bringing destruction upon your own head. Thus saith the word of the Lord. I'm Paul Bagley. Go read the Bible, people. Don't just get all bent out of shape and, and flexing your muscles and cursing me and calling me names when you don't have a clue. When you're coming against a man of God who has studied the Word of God and stands in the midst of a troubled world with the power and the anointing of God Himself upon my life. I'm nothing but a humble servant. Of the Most High God. But Jesus Christ has anointed me. As it says in St. Luke's Gospel 4.18. For the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. And he has anointed me to preach the Gospel. To bring glad tidings of good things. To heal the sick. To raise the dead in one scripture. Through the, you say how can you raise it in? Every day through the word of God. We raise, we raise the dead in sin. To come to the knowledge of Christ and become alive in Christ Jesus. I'm Paul Begley. Goodbye Hezbollah.
Goodbye, Lebanon. Now, Lebanon, if you want to get your country back together, kick Hezbollah out of it. Do not allow it in your constitution. Restart by picking up the word of God. There's a lot of Christians in Lebanon. I, I, I pray for them. There's a lot of good Christian people in Lebanon. But these scoundrels, these terrorists, these thieves, these thugs, these Muslim militant radical Islamic haters from hell, ministers of Mecca, murderers, you got to get them out of your constitution. You have to get them out of your government. I'm Paul Begley. May all the glory be to God. And his word is true. And let every man be a liar.